So on top of that, Billy, brace yourself. Okay. Uh, if the man, if it wasn't enough that the man had digestive problems and his ass was stuck on a toilet, <laughs> Billy, the killer's dog too. <laughs> Now, before we get into the review, I need to let you know that this video has been approved and sponsored by Shudder.com. And the movie we're about to review, for a lot of people, including myself, it takes a lot of strong will and nerves to get through. And if you're the kind of person that would put yourself through something like that, then you're probably like real hard. And you can find all that and more over at Shudder.com. They have all the hard titles for you. People crave variety and they got that for you. I want you to go over here and look at this. Look at all of these categories right here. They have thrillers. They have mysteries. They got documentaries. They have animation on there. They got comedy. They even have sci-fi. They even produce their own shows. Some of them, those shows and documentaries that they make, I love very much. Horror Noir, about the role of black people in horror. Love that. Creep Show. I watched that series about two times already over their anthology series taken from the movie. I can sit up here and tell you, yes, I have seen them and I have enjoyed them. So I ain't lying to you. And it's only here on Shudder that you will find exclusive quality genre mashups like the Mexican crime fantasy Tigers Are Not Afraid or the horror comedy One Cut of the Dead. It's probably really expensive. No, no, it's not. You can get this for $5.99 per month or $56.99 per year. But, Corey, now you, you, you sold me on more stuff. That's a lot of stuff to handle. I'm a busy person. I don't know if I, got, I can watch all. You can watch all of this if you want because you got, look at this. What is this? It's a phone in your hand. You got an iPod right there. You can carry all those things around because this can be found on so much. I got to look at it. You can find this on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Xbox One, Amazon Fire TV, Google Chromecast, Roku, Android devices. You can look at horror anywhere you go, even while you're sitting on the toilet, getting the shit scared out of you. Now, if you go over to Shudder.com, that's S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com, and type in the promo code Double Toasted. You're on the channel all the time. You know how to spell it, but it's all one word. Double Toasted. Type in that promo code, and you will find yourself having Shudder 30 days for free. Again, go to Shudder.com, S-H-U-D-D-E-R, and type in the code Double Toasted. Don't say I'm not trying to help you out in these hard times. I'm trying to look after you, man. And again, I have to say that this video has been approved and sponsored by Shutter.com, AMC, Shutter.com. And I thank you for your support. So, before the days of blockbusters like Black Panther right here, <laughs> Black Cast, all in, all in leading roles. And also, before you had psychological thankers, like get out right here I couldn't bear to let him go with a big social statement big social commentary starring mostly black people nominated for Academy Awards it's nominated for Academy Awards in, per, in predominant oh roles that is <clears throat> at least you have one guy in, the, in, in your lead role right here you know before all these days right here before we had all that we had soul playing Soul Plane came out not even not even 20 years ago, 16 years ago, I think 2004. You know, and the last time I saw Soul Plane was when I walked out on it at the time. <laughs> I couldn't take it, man. I just could. I, I, you know, at the t at, at the time I didn't have the rule of don't ever walk out on a movie, but I'd be goddamn if this wasn't going to be a challenge if that rule was in place. <laughs> this shit here is one of the, I have to say, is one of the things that I have, one of the most uh, just blatantly offensive things that I've seen <laughs> on the screen, at least as far as I remember. But that was a long time ago, man. That was that was quite a long time ago. Because what I remember, is, you know, I, I remember things broadly. I remember being offended. I remember thinking like this is, and take the offensive, offensiveness out of it. The movie's terrible. Not even funny. It's not even, a, I don't even think it's a good movie, period. But you know what? I cannot remember the small details about this motion picture, man. And like I said, I don't even think I made it through half this movie. I did not. Soul Plane, you boy. You shook your ass at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. Let people know this is bullshit. <laughs> this sensible Negro is out. <laughs> and now I look at it today and I say, you know what? And, this, and during this time, I don't. I never walk out of a movie. 
I stay to it to the end. And, uh, you know, I do my job. So I felt like it was only fair that for this bad movie review, which you voted on, we come in and we talk about Soul Plane. See if I missed anything. Hey, you know what? You stay to the end. You might actually see a better movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. What the hell's going on here? Man, I'm afraid of heights. So it's just like the, the movie Airplane, but, but with black people. Sure, Mark. Yeah. You ever remember like just walking out of airplane wanting to kill every mother? You see. <laughs> <laughs> I walked out of airplane happy. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, not so yeah. I speak a little John. <laughs> Excited to go see it. Yeah. Again. Hey, they did black jokes in airplane, and I laughed at them. Mm -hmm. Like two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, had, they, they had stereotypes in their playing. They, they know I speak jive. They had dudes in there. You can even understand. Uh -huh. Hit me on the tippy tay and all that kind of shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cut me to the bone. Take me. You know? Yeah. Hey, Jim Lockhart But a butter land me to the bone. Jacking me up. Jacking me up. Yeah. Take me. You know, I, I didn't know what they were talking about. And I wasn't even offended uh -huh. by it. Because it was smart. That's why. I'm going to tell you something, though. The irony of this movie <laughs> is that, okay, so this is a movie about the first all-black own airline, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. There's a movie that touts itself as having a predominantly black cast. Mm -hmm. They played themselves right from the beginning because they had to actually, so they listed people in alph alphabetical order. Yeah. So when they did that, the first person you see is the white dude, Tom Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> so the first name even build, man, yeah. is the white Old guy. Plane starring Tom Arnold. <laughs> I feel like the idea here is that well he's 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 honorarily black for this movie. Oh no, oh no, just the opposite, opposite man. Oh, don't even get me started oh, on he, that. He gets all the white guy jokes. Man, he's the only white dude there, of course. Who else they gonna put it on? <laughs> Look, you haven't seen it. Yeah. I mean, I saw 15 minutes of it. And I, you know what? I'm gonna tell you too, man. When the movie starts, 14 years ago. I, 14 years ago, man. When the movie starts, like right after the credits. It, there's a second that it looks like there's a glimmer of hope. You got this narration going on with Kevin Hart who's talking like he got some sense, giving you this real sentimental story. Cinematography is not even all that bad in that beginning part. We live right next to the airport. I remember my mom would put my stroller outside while she hung clothes on the line. And Jesus. then that plane comes in, wow. and I'm like, what the f***? Did you see that plane? Yeah, boom, boom. Did you see this damn? That, that shit looks like a bad Photoshop. Yeah, it does. It's like this badly Photoshop plane right here coming this close to the house. I'm, I'm like, all right, well, here we go. If that don't prepare you for what we're about to get. Well, it, in itself, the meaning that they're so poor, they bought a house that's right by the airport. Yeah. Okay, so Martin, even you looking at me like, all right, so yeah, the movie's a comedy. Yeah. And it's exaggerating a few things, you know, and that could be funny. The mm -hmm. movie's so close to the, to, to, to the airport that the that right before the planes are about to land, right. they're almost about to land on your house. Uh -huh. So you look, you you can even be positive yeah. about this, sure. But nah. <laughs> man, I'm trying, man. Come on, <laughs> you said but. Kevin Hart grows up. He's talking about you know, I'll, you know, I, I always love planes, but I'm you know insinuated that I'm poor and I you know, I'm, I can't fly anywhere and whatnot. So he finally gets on a plane. He gets to travel on a plane the first time. And if you go by the movie, black people don't fly right. at all. But when we do, you will know our black asses are on that plane because we just like we are movie theaters. Oh, we boy. cannot sh <laughs> we can't shut the f*** up. So you already uh. being told in the movie. Did you see what they did already? Hey, you know what? Acting polite and mannerable and quiet. That's white people shit. That's what white people do. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. We keep it real. We yeah. sit next to people. Brat! Brat! Yeah, we got to put our headphones yeah, we, on we, and, and, and rap and yell. And, and yell and shit. No of consideration for anyone no, but ourselves. Nobody. 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 If you don't like it, that's your problem. Because you no stuck one. up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> White people on here, they, they, they made sure to let you see, hey, you know what? Being, be, being calm and being acting like you have some sense, that's white people shit. Not us. No, nah, you keep it real, brother. Let them all know you on the plan. You ain't right, got to go exactly. by no rules. Ain't you got a job where they teach you how to act normally <laughs> so you can afford to buy the fucking plane ticket? That's the kind of shit that bothers me. Yeah. 
I mean, don't even know. I mean, can't even talk to somebody. Gets through his beef strong enough, which he's like, ain't never had no, ain't never had before. Oh, oh, that, oh that whole, ne- never had any kind of normal experiences. We, what is this? And we, we, they treat us like we natives from the jungle, man. Yeah. What is this? What is this this dish called the beef stroganoff? And when he eats it, he's so happy to have it for the first time. He can't stop talking to the woman, spitting in her face and everything. Beef strogi. <laughs> I wasn't half bad. It was good. <laughs> I got a little spit on you. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> uh, you know what? So, the hamburger helper has a beef stroganoff. Yeah. That's the first time I heard of it. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why this doesn't make sense. It's doesn't clearly make sense. he would have heard of this. Yeah. Oh, no. It might. It might be better there than <laughs> right, what he's right. had. I ain't never had none like this. Yeah. But I know what the f- it is. Oh, but you don't understand. He's been out of the out of the environment called the hood. Yeah, but he I has not seen the hood. Yeah, but also they he's got, a hamburger helper. Hamburger helper Apparently, in the hood. he's a, he is so hood and so ghetto that he can't even get the hamburger helper. <laughs> that's Strogi. That but immediately gave it a nickname. That's Strogi. Yeah, and, and, and picking his teeth yeah. and getting in the woman's face, brrrat, and all that. Like, why would you even be doing that? Why would you have to get in her face to tell Apparently, her about? We the, don't know how to act in public. We don't know how to act, and we don't know how to, know how to read other people's body language. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, ah, fuck up, bitch. Just <laughs> all up, up in, and, just all up in her private space. Yeah, brat. <laughs> 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 Still talking about brat. Why would you do that shit? Brat, brat, bitch, brat. You know what? Music ain't even on no more. It's still rapping. You uh, you got to be out your f- three minutes in, three yo. Three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> four minutes. Let me tell you what we got. Four minutes. That strogy gets to my man. And oh, four minutes. Oh no. Uh, did we get fart jokes? Oh, four minutes in, we already jokes. got a fart joke. Oh, oh four minutes in. Because we can't eat anything good. We, without giving it, without giving us gas, and us going, oh my stomach, exactly. oh lord. Well, keep keep in mind, he wanted the chicken at first. <laughs> well, because of his limited <laughs> diet, perhaps his digestive system can't handle such rich food. As you see, <laughs> as beef when the native stroganoff. when the native Negro goes out of his element, <laughs> the hood, his yeah. digestive tract has to have yeah. time to adjust <laughs> to, it, to the gotta... Caucasian cuisine. <laughs> People, four, four minutes in, four minutes, I tell you, we already getting fart jokes. Are you all right, sir? Uh, for, oh. <laughs> Clearly, he never realized he was lactose intolerant. Uh, ain't, is and that, that's they're always lactose intolerant and don't know it. And mm-hmm. don't, but there wasn't no, more, there, there ain't no dairy and beef strong enough, is it? I, I think in the sauce. In the sauce, yeah. Oh, it's is like it? cheese yeah. is kind of yeah. a cheesy okay, sauce. I don't know what, because they just brought this Negro gravy. It's almost like the students want to poison his ass. What the hell is that? What is exactly. that? That's it. What, is that? <laughs> what is that? That's not beef. That's not beef stroking off. <laughs> they gave that Negro slop. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. <laughs> Let's back it up, please. I'm sorry. I don't want to try to make sense out of this, but I'm going to try to make sense out of this. So that's the what he enjoyed. That's eating. what he ate. They that student went back there and shit in a tray uh-huh. and gave it to him. That's uh-huh. what he enjoyed. That's eating. what he ate. But that's what he was all happy about. That's what he was happy about eating. That's okay. strogi. So why did they make it look like a called like a boiling uh, yeah, cauldron? cauldron. That, yeah, cauldron. That student is went because he was the only black person on the plane. That student went back there, put her fingers down her throat, yeah, vomited, threw, threw up in that in that in that bowl and, and microwaved it for his ass. That and his ignorant ass sitting up there. That sure was good. I ain't never had that before. Yeah, because it's vomit. <laughs> yeah, that's not beef strong. No wonder you. No wonder you shitting. And you know what? And that leads to <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> and that leads to a longer consequence where. Kevin Hart is stuck, you know, it, it, more comedy stylings. Because he can't get to the bathroom. Of farting and shitting. He's on the bathroom. He's Not only is he on the bathroom, uh, on the toilet, but he gets stuck there. So, oh, so we can have a prolonged image of him being stuck on a toilet for a nice visual gag. That was worth it for that line, right? Oh. By the way, you get that too because if the first fart joke wasn't enough for you, oh, we uh, have him here on the toilet. Let's go for more. Oh, oh, oh shit! That's it. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, Martin's gonna break the <laughs> monitor. He's gonna break the. <laughs> Martin, so Martin look at that like he could, like if, if, if Kevin Hart was right there, he'd be dead. <laughs> he'd be mm. kill him. He'd be Martin would choke the shit out of him right now. <laughs> he would right now. He'd be he's face. farting right now. In that toilet and. On top of that, <laughs> so on top of that, Billy, brace yourself. Okay. Uh, if the man, if it wasn't enough that the man had digestive problems and his ass was stuck on a toilet, <laughs> Billy, they kill his dog too. 
Animation looked like something from Monty Python's Man, Flying Circle. Man, that was so bad. That CG was did, awful. Did you see that? Look at this shit. That dog, <laughs> dog that dog slid. Yeah, the he dog slid. was like, like straight up. It wasn't like, whoa. It was just like this. Like, like a picture of a dog that just went in Yeah. That. <laughs> that dog slid. Look at this shit. <laughs> that, shit was, that shit was animated like a South Park character. <laughs> that was so, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> like, the, like the dog didn't have no wind resistance on him yeah. or anything. He wasn't flailing. Dog just on a. They had that dog. I want y'all to dog. see this. I, I want y'all to see the slow motion. That dog was on a harness on a green screen. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> and you didn't see that when they turned the dog. <laughs> Corey, this is this is five six minutes into it. This is we are we are we now from the moment that dog hits that the moment that dog dies. <laughs> And the dog ain't worried at all. Dog is, dog, dog is fuck, the, the dog, dog is happy to be, the, be out of this. The dog is embarrassed right now. The dog is like, let me go. <laughs> wow. I, I feel like Even I'm Kevin wondering. Hart like, God damn, that's a bad effect. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes, y'all. Keep in mind, we ain't even been on. We have not been on Soul Plane yet. Right. We this have not even. Airplane. We have not get on the plane yet. <laughs> That's a regular, regular airplane. airplane. Uh-huh. And that was that. It's already stupid. Right. We've been on white people's planes, and it's already dumb. And he's already after the fool. Yeah, he's already after the fool. We ain't been on Soul Plane yet. We ain't even. You know, we we haven't even got to the main part of the movie. Actually, at this point, uh, all that was a setup right there for a lawsuit, which. The court was going to go against him. He won by some little bullshit-ass speech. I mean, my mom has always told me that you can't be successful until you try. Oh, no. no. To sue somebody? If you, if, you heard, if you heard this little low, if you heard carefully, somebody in the background even dubbed somebody like, yep, that's true. It's <laughs> <laughs> sit up here having heard. I know, but it's supposed to be inspiring that he's suing them. Yeah. They make money. Yeah, because the judge, because the judge jumped on him, not the judge, the the, the lawyer, the, the counter lawyer, the lawyer for the airline jumped right. on him and was like, "Oh, let me understand. You are, you say you're an entrepreneur, so that means your black ass really is unemployed, right? And so that that's what that whole uh, thing okay. was. He's like, I'm trying, I'm just trying to make it like everybody else. I'll give you this money because people like you, my mom, with people like you, and you keep us behind. So you know, he. They, you know what? You touched the hearts of the court. $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For a dog. For, yeah, apparently. Now, keep that in mind, people. You know, you, uh, if your ass gets stuck in a, in a toilet on a plane, I can get you $100 million. And also, killing your dog is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, they fight, he gets his airline. He says, I'm on, they're interviewing him. And they're saying, what are you going to do? And he's like, you know what? And he looks at the lawyer over there looking at him like he's nothing. They're like, you know what? I might start my own airline, which he does. And the airline, so here's where they really start going for the, as they say, the low-hanging fruit. So the, <laughs> Is it still hanging or is it just on the ground? It's on the ground. It's rotten. It's on the ground. Shit is beyond ripe. He has bugs and maggots all on it. Yeah, just pick it up. So the airline that my man has is called NWA. And they got oh. trim. They got spinners on the wheel, on the wheel rims and spinners and the shit is purple. Purple, purple of course. Purple like lead. And hydraulics Just too. Purple. Hydraulics is going on. Is it Negroes with airlines? Is that what it stands That's, for? They didn't, they didn't really say what it was. It's supposed to be, you know, of course, after I mean, N- NWA because everybody knows that right, niggas right. with attitudes. Yeah. But yeah, I guess that's what it, you know when you think about it. Yeah, niggas no, with airlines. Oh yeah, that's, that's I was trying clearly, not to say yeah. the N word because we were twitching on the front page. Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, but no, hell, y'all know what it is. I mean, yeah. I'm saying I'm not saying this. I'm not using this to racially uh, insult anybody. I'm telling you what the movie's doing. Right. The movie insulted us way okay. more than I'm insulting anybody out there. The terminal is run by sassy big black women because you know in a movie like this, when you're a black woman after a certain size, you gotta be you sassy. You gotta be sassy. By, by, or, by or law... You don't, you don't get work. Exactly. Right. By law, if you are big and black and a woman, you are required to be sassy. That's where we get Monique and... Uh, what, what's her name? Uh, uh, also introduced... Oh, what you seeing. Okay. The sign says put all metal objects in a container. Take your ass on. Get on back there. Get your ass back you know, if only they did their job that well all the time. They seem they they look they sassy. They probably a little bit too forceful, but if only they did that more. Because 
This is soul playing, y'all. People don't work. <laughs> That's all the work they did. I was going to say, isn't that regular TSA? Right yeah. I, I know, mean, I know. Uh, that, that is regular. That, 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 that was that a little. Yeah, okay, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this one's not that far-fetched. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> based on my experience, I'm going to say. <laughs> and you know what the movie said? Yes, you're right. That is too close to real life. These are black people, and they're actually working. Oh. No, we can't have that on Soul Plane, not NWA lines. So, of course, it's only a matter of time before they start. They do their job so bad, they sit around just talking about dudes and rapping while people just sneak on by. <laughs> This nigga was walking by. He's like, he's like, where they gonna let me on? He's he just, he just walking by. He's like, all right. And my pipe bomb. He's, he's, okay. yeah. he's like, I thought they were gonna stop me. Yeah. I mean, I was having second thoughts about Shit. it, but you know, whatever. Man, how'd you get your weed through, man? The bitches were dancing, <laughs> rapping. They didn't see how he shrugs his shoulders. Yeah, he's he's like, yeah, he did a big pantomime. Like, mm, yeah, I don't know. Oh, but here, here's where we really get to it. So, but once you get inside the airline, boy, and I forgot about this. It is glorious, man. Mm. It's got. It's got everything that a racial black stereotype needs everything. to feel comfortable. Everything. Everything a racial a black part. stereotype needs to be comfortable. Sneakers, fried chicken. Roscoe's chicken and waffles is great. That's a huge cents. terminal. Everything. A 99 cent oh store? Oh my God, dude. That's every, there's a basketball court. Oh, and basketball. Jesus Christ, dude. With, the, a chain, with a chain. With a chain on uh, it. Uh, 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 because that's net. what they do in the ghetto. Yeah, that's what they do. And it's got to have all the tags. And but what, do you, do you play that while you're waiting for your plane that's been delayed? Yeah. Yes, Martin, of course. Shit, all them Negroes probably missed the what flight. Else they, what are they supposed to do, read? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got chicken. We got sneakers. We got basketball. We already have these, these the, 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 the security who ain't doing their job. But th those are all side things. You know, I mean, at least the captain going to fly the plane right. No, that nigga was late, too. <laughs> and they found him at the last minute. <laughs> and they found him through somebody's cousin. <laughs> Kevin Hart's cousin played by Method Man. He's like, this, brother, this is your first flight. And you ain't got no pilot except on the day of. Uh -huh. And that Negro shows up late. Hey, my pleasure, brother. Hey, uh, you late, man? Yeah, Grace, with a nice mask. Can you dig it? Hell yeah, I can dig it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you really gonna do that? Nah, I'm just... No, because that would be Ugh. that would be smart and professional. Yeah, that would be me knowing how to do my <laughs> job. <laughs> no, I'm a... You, you mean that, that would be doing your job. <laughs> no, I'm just... I'm gonna crash. Yeah. I'm gonna crash. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Why? Do you wanna die? <laughs> and the funny thing is, I like snooping this, man. That's the one thing I can say about Snoop Dogg. Really? Snoop Dogg is so cool. Snoop Dogg would actually make anything funny, man. You know, I actually liked him in this. I ain't gonna he lie. He had a good delivery right there with those lines. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yes, Martin, he did. Well, he didn't already have one lined up? No, he got him that day. But but is it because somebody else didn't show up? He No, because they tried to find, they were, apparently they're like, he wanted a black pilot so bad. that And they tried to find him. The black pilots, there's two of them, they say out there. And they flying for other people. Mm -hmm. So the only one that his cousin could find was a homeboy that just got out of jail. Wait, so let me see. There's only two black pilots. <laughs> What's that, Martin? Yeah, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. What's that, Martin? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> only two black pilots. Right, and they're both flying for white people. Was that no, they're, flying, they're, for they're the, flying for the black people. For the black people, but we don't have one. But let's go ahead and get on with this flight. Yeah. Because, because it'll work what, itself out. Because that's what Negroes do. In we don't this world. need a pilot yeah. to this flight. Yeah. We it's always need a late flight attendant. It's the f pilot. Yeah, it's the pilot. <laughs> nah, man. This is for us by us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is Fucked this, up this, by this us. is yeah. who we are. <laughs> by the, and, and and by the way, it wasn't they just found the pilot at the last minute, it was a hookup. Uh, you know <laughs> my cousin's friend. My cousin's friend. Who just, who just got, got out of jail. <laughs> who just got out of jail. <laughs> They say, you know, we, we make fun of everybody in this movie. Yeah. Everybody gonna get it. I, and this is gonna sound crazy coming from me, but I'm almost more offended by the white stereotypes than I am by the black stereotypes. At least for the black stereotypes, they put some effort into it. Uh huh. The white stereotypes are way f lazier than the black ones. Okay, Mr. Hunky. Honky, oh, Mr. Mr. Honky. What are we? This is a time travel movie now. We going back to the seventies. Wow. Oh, and, and and hey, listen. Guess where they just came from? 
I saw a hat. I yeah, saw you the saw the hat. Not, hat. not Disney World, not Disneyland, not Six Flags, not Fiesta, Texas, but where'd they come from? Where the hell is Terminal X? Relax, honey. Didn't we just have a great vacation at Crackerland? <laughs> Come on, Christ, dude. Come on. So lazy. <laughs> Come on. I wish I hadn't seen that hat first. I saw the hat already. <laughs> Why the the white characters are even they even put less effort into that? Honky? And Cracker Land. And Cracker Land. <laughs> and probably had him do that line several times. Several times. <laughs> and, and, you know, and you know, it's just Tom Marl, so he was happy to do it every uh, time. He got a little happier every time. He got yeah, happy. Thank you for yeah, hiring let me. Let me put a different spin on it this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably wrote that line. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you have time, good time to Jesus Christ. Look, I know, I know Cracker and Honky ain't equivalent to the N-word, but have some pride in yourself. Yeah. And so when they get to the terminal, see that's what I'm talking about with the white people, because it's not only bad enough that they have that they're lazy, but they bring their own bag of black stereotypes with them. The shit gets <laughs> deeper with them, man. Own bag. And, and believe it or not, the white people bring a, a, a they, they they bring on the plane their own black stereotypes. Uh, when Tom Arnold gets up in the terminal, mm. of course he can't stop. Neck is almost breaking. Look at all that juicy black ass. Well, you can't blame him. You, you can't blame him yeah, for that. <laughs> Looking, boy. <laughs> Drooling. <laughs> God damn. Hey. <laughs> Me like booty. <laughs> you, that, was, that was a horrifying look. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, I could have had any one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck with old uh, no. knock knees over here. <laughs> he looked, do you see that look? He's like, I'm going to eat every piece of ass in here. <laughs> Jesus. He's going to look at that shit, too. You can't fake that act. No, He's never been that good an actor. Yeah, that, that was one take. Mm -hmm. And he didn't know the camera was Yeah, on. exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look at this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> He's just looking at all the extras. That, that's his car. Just looking at extras. <laughs> oh, and like I said, everybody gets it, man. Everybody gets this shit in here. Of course, you can't forget, since this is the plane, this is 2004. So even though it's been three years... Ain't nothing like a nice bit of 9-11 humor. No. Oh. <laughs> the, Jesus. The, the Arab guy. Yeah, they just had to put an Arab dude. And boy, what they do with him later on, I want you to keep note. We got we still got quite a journey to go on. That same guy's in Iron Man. <laughs> That's the same dude in Iron Man? Uh -huh. <laughs> boy, he can't catch a break. He is tight and cast. But I'm gonna tell you what they do. Keep this in mind. We still have quite a journey to go on. Yeah, we the plane has still haven't taken off. Yeah, yet. The plane ain't even taken off yet. And what they do with him later? Ooh, boy, you gonna forget? But take note. Keep this. Man, look at this man. Remember his face. He shall return. Do a screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> Once we start flying, the higher the plane goes up, uh -huh. the lower this movie sinks, man. <laughs> It goes like, like it goes, yeah. It's just a contradiction of itself. The higher we go up, the lower this movie gets. So, when you're up in the air and they start serving your beverages, Martin, when you oh. start serving your your food there, and your refreshments there, Billy, uh, they want to make sure that your thirst is quenched with a nice tall bottle of. Hello. Uh, would you like Coke 45 or Alizé? <laughs> Malt liquor. Oh, they, oh, they put man in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that was one of the things that hurt me when I watched this. Because oh. this dude's such a good character actor. There's a lot so of great, great voices. Yeah. Yeah, and, he's great. But not but he's a He's a gay malt liquor slanging mother mm. this. Oh, no, no. Yeah. He's, he's well beyond gay. He's a flamingo. Oh, he is. No, he's very flamboyant. That's oh, nice. and for you, so you got your refreshments. You got your, you got your beverage <laughs> your right there. You got your beverage. Now it's time for your food. All right, I need you to take a breast or a leg and a wing and pass it back. In Jesus. Back. They pass him boxes of Popeye chicken. They can't get their own. <laughs> they can't well, get they, everybody got to take, take one out of it. Take a breast uh, or a wing. Or or a not wing. both, not two. A, a, a leg and a wing. But don't take both. <laughs> Boy, they, that's yeah. what I was talking about. That's why they couldn't put Popeyes up in the terminal because they like, oh, we gonna say that for oh, our yeah. best joke later on. <laughs> and and they got they talk Popeyes into sponsoring this. Well, of course, Popeyes and Negroes love chicken. Of course, <laughs> Popeyes would be dumb not to do this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Say, I hey, we agree with Popeyes. We hate that to one. be racist, but you got a plane full of hungry black people, and you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> they like Popeyes. <laughs> 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 I, you know, I never got this far into the movie before. And so at this point, I man, I did not realize. I did not realize it got worse. This, this is straight up 
a pure minstrel show. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, absolutely. It already is. Absolutely. This is, no, yeah. see, seeing the 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 flight attendant and DL Hughley, uh, I was like, I I can't I can't keep watching this. No, it was man, this is this oh. is straight up no, this, it is a straight up minstrel show. This is Coon Air. Mm-hmm. If they had called it that, yeah, it wouldn't have been no <laughs> yeah. difference. Yeah, instead of Con Air. Con Air, no, <laughs> yeah, Coon Air. Coon Air. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want y'all to know, man. I, I got I got nothing against black people being made fun of or making fun of ourselves. I got nothing about that. I ain't got nothing even against a, a malt liquor joke. If it means something, none of this shit means anything. It's just one stereotype after another for an easy laugh. Just put on display. For right. A quick laugh. Right. Because right. sometimes Sorry. it could have a social commentary or things you go like, uh. Okay, you got me there. That's like, not yeah, true. like they did an undercover brother. Sure, but this shit is like, all right, you're playing into stereotypes. A lot of stuff that's just been made up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of stuff perpetuated, been made up that like make us look bad. That's the thing with yeah. a minstrel show. A minstrel show is comedy at black people's expense. And when I say expense, where it's made to make fun of them, not laugh with them, not at a, not have a purpose. It's meant to point at them and make them look as low and ignorant for comedic effect. Yeah, it's like there's this, no redeeming value. This was put together by a bunch of white people who were gonna wear blackface, and at the last minute they all got coronavirus. <laughs> and they say, "Well, let's get the black people to just work out the same script that we already were, were playing for." Them. Came to their senses. Yeah. Said, we can't do yeah. this. <laughs> the nicest thing that the movie has to say about about black people. Is the same old, same old. We got big dicks. I can't even, like, I can't show you all of this. I'm just gonna let you know those, those, <laughs> those aren't his keys in his pockets. That's not that those. That's not that's not that's not his wallet down there that she's looking at. You know, that's the nicest thing that they have to say <laughs> Why is about she black that? people. It's on. It's <laughs> honestly, it's not even really that nice because it's comparing you to an animal. Well, when I'm saying nice, yeah, I'm not. I'm not no, no, I'm not saying it's nice. I'm saying that's the nicest thing. Right. Right. But that's. But that's the. If you go. If you look at porn, you know where guys have big, big penises. They like always compared to bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beat the. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, BBC, BB, Gorilla, BBC. Yeah. Silverback. Yeah. Silver yeah. <laughs> and if you look at this, you look at this. Another more stereotypes. Uh, 50 ways to lose your baby's mama. Oh, good Lord. Oh. Now, it helps a little bit if you understand that the writers, they just see the whole world in stereotypes. Because as they're about to take off, there was oh, another airline, there's another plane right across the, 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 tarmac. the tarmac from them <laughs> called Texas Air. And oh. of, course, and of course, on Texas Air, what they got? A number of, it's full of rednecks, cowboys, who are all happen, happen to be white people. And, and wearing kerchiefs. And all of them looking like Woody from Toy Story. No, and here's what I get. Here's, here's, here's what I love. I love, they're all flipping out. They're flipping out. Yes, anybody would to see a plane on a hydraulics and shit going on. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, you wouldn't flip out? It's like, look at these old uptight ass white people. All we're doing is hitting switches on a plane. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Look at right? this. They got guns on the plane. Yeah. Oh, on the plane. Calfskin, yeah. <laughs> For everybody Cal- to see. Calfskin seats. Calfskin seats. So that means in this world, somewhere out there, there's Mexican air where everybody's wearing sombreros. Uh-huh. And the plane, too. And the, 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 the plane, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plane got a big sombrero on it. <laughs> and everybody's sitting two yeah. to the seat. Mm-hmm. There's Asian air where every announcement is preceded by a gong. Yeah. There's <laughs> Irish air where everybody's drunk or they're a leprechaun. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, you know, the, the writers just see everything as stereotypes. Even white people. It's, it's just that yep. black stereotypes are just the worst. You know, there's a... <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in this movie that might be considered sexual assault that was considered comedy back then. Oh, Jesus. Monique just straights up, just uh, she just straight up just rapes a dude. Die. Drop them drawers. Show me that ass, nigga! What? <laughs> oh, my God. Cabinet check. <laughs> oh my God! She rapes this dude, man. No, but just even what she said, when she screamed down. Mm-hmm. Martin said, "Oh Jesus, show me that ass in words." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what she said, right? Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's there. Yeah. That's what's not. That's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, your hair is perfectly intact. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started. On the homophobia in this. Oh, it's, it's, oh, no. it's teaching gaming. I have to go train the marshal. Return to the cockpit immediately. 
Why are they all wearing the men? A priest. Yeah, apparently gay people love dick so much that they'll run to watch a man pee. A man just had to piss. That's all. And if you didn't get the joke, there's another pilot named, he's from Africa, named Gaiman. Mm, okay. so his name is Gaiman just so they can set up a bunch of gay jokes right, like right. this one. Attention Gaiman. Attention Gaiman. Have to go train the monster. Return to the cockpit Ooh. immediately. Yeah. He's just peeing. That's all, y'all. That's how much gay people crave the penis. They'll go and just in droves just to watch a man take a piss. At this point, I mean, I was halfway through the movie and I realized, oh shit, there's no story. There's no plot. There's no plot in this. Yeah. There's what, no plot at all. What is driving this? There's one plot in here where Kevin Hart is trying to get back with his girl that he didn't propose to a long time ago, and that lasts like two minutes. That's a plot. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the only wow. thing like they got as a story. Okay, wow. connected anything. Wow. Oh, and 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 what they do at the end, they finally have to do something. The conflict is that, and I, and I had to laugh at this. I did have to laugh at this. Uh, Snoop, he. I, I, I look. I, this is one thing I didn't see coming. Snoop dies from a, from a mushroom overdose. This is what I miss not seeing the movie. I'm like, oh shit, they really killed him. Oh shit, that nigga dead. <laughs> 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 now I laughed at that. I and I'm like, and I, and I didn't see that coming. I'm like, oh shit, you killed one of the biggest stars in the movie. You kill, y'all killed Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> they kill Snoop, so what they got to do is they got to figure out how to land, how to land the plane. Oh, and a uh, mushroom be, overdose. A mushroom overdose. He can't is stop eating mushrooms. I know. I was just asking. Is that yeah, a it's thing? in this movie. <laughs> Sophia Vergara is that her name? Yeah. yeah. She teaches him how to land the plane because some dude has sex with her in the cockpit where she re- recognizes all the buttons. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 don't just blink, you he's, can't fly. He's got a magic dick that teaches oh, you how to fly plane. Like, she and was, course, and of course it had to be, oh, I got f- on the control board, so I know so how she to recognize all it can't of the- can't be that I'm intelligent. It's like no. his, his dick transferred the knowledge like a thumb drive. <laughs> and Sophia Vergara, I man, let me see if I can find this. Sophia Vergara, I even had a picture of it earlier. So Sophia Vergara, she comes in and recognizes how to Jesus how to fly the plane because when a dude had her bent over, she was looking at the controls. She recognized. <laughs> she recognized. <laughs> oh my god! I, I'm I'm gonna suggest that maybe this has happened a bunch of times. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. really know how. Right? So she's been <laughs> copped it so many times. Yeah. Oh, this one time, this dude. Hey, no one time. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you recognize something new every time. <laughs> All right, that's the autopilot. <laughs> that's the landing gear. <laughs> So when she comes in, by the way, they always play the Mexican guitar and the Mexican trumpet. Uh-huh. Bring yeah. oh, the mariachi band. It's mariachi, yeah. In the, in the so, cabin. so she's all got her legs propped up. So she remembers how to fly the plane because somebody had her hunched over, bent over, and while she was getting, had, you know, somebody's having sex with her. She recognized all the controls. So she tells Kevin Hart how to land the plane. They land. <laughs> this Christ. ending is crazy, man. There's one thing I can give this ending. This ending is insane. So they land the plane. In Central Park, in oh, May. So okay, they end lots up, of space there. They leave, yeah. <laughs> and they just happen to land. Notice there ain't no tracks. <laughs> yeah, do they just drop it out of the sky? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I recall, you know, I've only been in New York a few times, but I recall <laughs> several more trees in Central this, Park. They just, yeah, I'm Mars, sorry. like they, they just a big, big patch of runway. <laughs> oh no, grass. they just drop. Nobody's trying to call the authorities. Nobody's getting off the plane trying to get to where they need to go. Oh, you know, uh, Kevin Hart comes out and says, hey, I told y'all, we fly, we land, we party. And they just I'm have and they party. just have a big dance scene at the end. Nobody leaves. They just oh, start oh. dancing. Oh, oh, Terry, Crews. Terry Crews, who's who's funny in this. He's he always has, funny. Terry Crews is always funny. I mean, look at it right here. Just ripping his Shirt off, pulling the billy. <laughs> <laughs> he really is pulling the billy. Man. You do all that shit. <laughs> and they start dancing, and nobody gets off the plane. The credits roll. Everybody's it. dancing. Everybody's I knew they dancing. had to do but dancing. I knew it. Now people are like, did you laugh at anything, man? You know, did you saw it the the, the 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 for the first time fully? Did you laugh at anything? Yeah, man, I did. There's some jokes in there that if it had it been. In a, in a better context, I would have got a real good laugh at. But I did get some chuckles at something saying that's wasted because you want to use it for something just for, again, face value. I laughed at the, that they had TVs with antennas on them and, <laughs> and tinfoil at the end. They got lockers 
for overhead compartments. Uh-huh. And they have the uh, things on the subway you hold. Oh, the subway, yeah, it's, it's yeah, like yeah. a subway in there, so man. They, they, I thought they, the things you hold. Yeah. Wow, you know, the, for this the movie, bars. yeah. 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 <laughs> but this movie, that's inspired. The movie gave me the biggest laugh at the end. I, 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 one thing, as much as I despise this movie, and I hate this film with a passion, it almost makes me mad to say that I left the movie with a laugh. It gave me the biggest laugh out of because it's just so <clears throat> silly. I'm dead. <laughs> How many takes to get him together? Right. I don't I mean, know. How many times they spin him around and he ended up not in front of the camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing up. His yeah. <laughs> so who does the daughter hook up with? A black bartender. Okay. We knew it would be something. Yeah, it, yeah, the daughter hooks up with some black dude. That I knew it was going to yeah. be that. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, come on. Yeah. It's either the wife or the daughter, but I figured the, the wife. wife does too. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Well, does Tom Arnold get anything? Yeah, does he get anything? <laughs> Brother, she saw that picture of Jerome, and she said, F- this, I'm gone. Where's she She go? goes off with Jerome. Where's Jerome? Oh, Jerome he's on just the plane? had Jerome's on the plane. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jerome. Jerome. <laughs> he ain't tell you, bitch, I'm about to the lead. He Jer- didn't tell us that. Jerome. Jerome. Jerome's, Jerome's on, on the plane. plane. I forgot. Yeah, Jerome. Jerome's, Jerome's on, on Soul Plane, man. Of course he is. He's a fuck. What? What did I say? Nothing. What was the reason for doing that in slow motion? I, I was wondering the same thing, <laughs> like the <laughs> bomb. Yeah, but they want to emphasize bomb. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you know what, Mark? <laughs> that that's actually why I laughed at that. I think because like because look, it's, it, look, it's a quick little dumb gag that works if you if you work fast. <laughs> But I'm slowing it down. Like, I know. I think one time ago that was stupid. <laughs> that, that's why I laughed because that is so dumb. That's that thing is why I laughed. They slowed it down. That makes it even funny. <laughs> Take a time with it. Right? right. <laughs> Savor it. <laughs> it's all been building to this <laughs> moment. Remember this yeah. guy from an hour and a half ago? <laughs> we got something good for him. This is the ball. Oh, wow. Oh, this wow. is the ball. <sighs> <sighs> and then they come with their, with their, with their walkie talkie. Yeah. You, you can all like, that's my you mama said. I love you noticing. Know, like, why'd they slow it down? <laughs> 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 In case you missed the joke. There's just some thing where my brain is going, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's, what's, what? <laughs> you said it gives you time to realize how stupid it is. Yeah. All that speaks for itself. I don't have to say anything about this. Wow. All that speaks for Jesus itself. Jesus Christ. Yeah, people. No, I have, no, it, 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 it's a testament to our friendship that you didn't tell me ahead of time, so I got to miss it. I'm not going to do this to you, because you will never let me live that shit down. I will never hear the end of that. You'll be pissing on my grave if I die well, before you. that's not you. true. On the way over here, I was like, man, this you told me. Grave. It never lets me know anything. I could have I could have helped. I could have added to the discussion. I take all that back. <laughs> take it all back. You looking out. <laughs> oh, yeah, Martin. You know, I did you a favor, man. You, well, I, maybe not. You know, you missed out on goodness <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'd have been checked out by that point. <laughs> you know what? That's gonna be that's gonna be our new I knew, yeah, our I new knew. subscription <laughs> alert. This is the bar. Oh. 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 This is the bar. And you know that's a that's that's a terror show too. The, oh, like Ali oh, Akbar. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. Oh, there you go. <laughs>